come to Africa, Nigeria. I like to go to Africa, actually. But, you know, the problem with Africa, I don't trust the government. I trust the people who they are. I mean, the people who um, I will invite them. But I understand in Africa, everything. I mean, there's a lot of corruption. And, you know, I have a lot of enemies. And you know what does that mean, you know? So, yeah, you have to be careful about where you, where you go, where you cannot go. Otherwise, I love to go and meet my brothers and sisters from Africa. Actually, I made this, I did a seminar in Odessa, Ukraine. 90, maybe 7% of those who they were in the seminar, they were African, you know, which means the majority of those who attend the seminar, they were African. Wonderful people. I love them. Uh, <laughs> Come to Singapore. Yeah, I will go. I will go. But you see, all those uh, countries you are talking about, they have a very bad rules about masks and the crazy stuff. I hate to go. And, you know, somebody shouting in my face, telling me, uh, last time I was in the airplane, a stupid idiot he was telling me, Sir, if we don't obedience, then we would report you to the authority. What the heck? And we were inside a box, have 400 passengers. And a second ago, we were eating everybody. His mouth is full and the smell of food and the smell of breathe. And now, now, anyway. Oof. That's why I want to get the flying carpet, you know? Flying carpet is the best. Forget about the rest. No rules. You put your feet at the end of the flying carpet, and you go. So do we have any Muhammadan here? Yeah, I will go to India. By the way, there's a lot of Indian in India. Unbelievable. This is what happened to me when I went to China. I was really surprised about how many Chinese in China. Everybody is Chinese. Everybody. Unbelievable. Can you come to Burma? Uh, but I know that Burma, they have like civil war or something. I mean, that would be the easiest target to hit. You know? You know, when I went to China, nobody speak English. Even the information center. I mean, there's an information center. Seriously, there's an information center. It's called information center in English. So you see it, you say, well, finally, I will get somebody. He can tell me where to go. You go to the information center, the girl, she give you a brochure. She don't speak English. This is the information center. <laughs> and the brochure is in, in Chinese. But to make it even more, more nice, you know, that the brochure in Chinese, and this is Japan. Don't tell me about Japan. Nobody speak English too. There's some some countries. I mean, they are really uh, they are good countries. But when you go there, you find yourself lost. Japan, Korea, uh, China. Nobody speak English. Uh, first time I arrived to Korea, I thought I arrived to Disneyland. Women they are wearing hats, weird boots, coat. It was summertime. I was looking like, what happened in this country? I mean, the same you see them in the movie, like from the 40s, 45 years, of, you know, in the war, war II, those women hats, you know, big hats, and there's like uh, uh, things coming in their face. Uh, I, I really felt like I'm in Disneyland when I went to Korea. But Korean people, for sure, they are nice people. But they have uh, something for clothing and fashion, you know. Yeah. Uh, visit me, <laughs> That's a good visit. He will show me his nipples if I visit him. You know, and then he will he will put tomato sauce in his stomach. I will say Christian Prince did that to me. Man <laughs> huwa Qatham. Qatham is uh, the real name of Muhammad, which Muhammad he replaced later. You see, you can prove easy that the name of Muhammad is not Muhammad because the Quran itself. Sometimes call him Muhammad, sometimes called Ahmed. 
But who is Muhammad and who is Ahmad? Nobody knows. If you remember in the Quran, it says that supposedly the Messiah, he said, that there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. Well, if the name of Muhammad is Ahmad, then who is, who is Muhammad? So obviously this is a title. It's not a name. Right? I hope I answer you about that. Visit Russia. I would love to visit Russia, but not as long as filthy Putin is there. You know, I used to respect this man. I used to think highly about him. But now I spit at him. I believe this filthy person is an animal. He has no heart. And he is a stupid. He caused the death of tens of thousands of people for nothing. Literally nothing. I would love to go to Russia, but not as long as this filthy Putin is there. We pray. I already made a prayer that the Lord will take him. And let us see if the Lord accepts my prayer. Usually he does. Uh, <coughs> visit Malaysia. Yeah. Ahmad, it's a, it's a close meaning for Muhammad, you know. But Ahmad is, you see, like I say, I Ahmadullah, which means I thanks Allah. Muhammad is the one you praise. Ahmad is the one who he prays. So like, it's coming from the same roots, but they are the opposite. So it cannot be both. No, my friend. First of all, when somebody says uh, Putin is protecting himself, that is a lie. I'm not accusing you of your lying. I'm accusing you that you believe in a lie, because this is uh, this is Russia, who, as you see, the NATO is terrified even to say hello to Russia. So when you say he want to protect himself, how come he did not protect himself when the Turkish and the Azerbaijani attack Armenia? Is it a threat to take Armenia to Russia? He was watching. And his best friend right now is the Turkish. Isn't it the Turkish are part of the NATO? Aren't they? Putin is a fraud. He's a filthy man. And he is a stupid in the same time. He became a greedy. He said to himself, those Western are terrified of me. Let me take this country and make it again part of Russia. He was watching the Armenian being slaughtered. He sold them out. The same he did for the, the people of Serbia. And soon he will use the Armenian and the Serbian to create a war in, 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 uh, in Europe. And he will let them just die. He will sell them out. He will make a deal with European. Drop your sanctions on me. Uh, we will drop the war there. Evil, very evil person. People don't see. People are blind. I mean, a guy who have the most powerful nukes in the world, he need to protect himself by what? By taking Ukraine. Well, the nature is all around you. What Ukraine would do? It is a lie. But only naive people, they will believe in it. And you know, not to forget to mention that both, the, uh, both parties lie about each other. Like the Ukrainian, they lie about the Russian. And the Russian lie about Ukrainian. I'm talking about the government. So the Russian now they are saying that, uh, that Ukrainian are fascist, Nazi. The guy is a Jew, and I was there. There's no such a thing. And then that Ukrainian now they are saying the same that the Russian are fascist. They are Nazi. It's, it's a you know they demonize each other. The the only successful person in this war is Satan. Divide two Christian countries. They have the same even churches killing each other, and there is no benefit. And now, what Putin exactly did? Did he stop Ukraine from joining anyone? Trust me, Ukraine now is going to build an army as never before. You will see. And not only that. I mean, this guy, he came with full-scale army, and he was defeated like a rat. He accomplished nothing. 
He sent 66 kilometers of caravan from the army of Qadarov. 66 kilometer. They put their tail between their legs and they run away from Kiev. Kiev is the target. If you tell me this is not the target, so why he came there? He ran away. He was defeated. Stupid idiot. And now he unite all his enemy actually against him. All those countries, they were asleep. They don't think about what will happen ever to them. Germany, who have no army, now is going to build the army as never before. Stupid. But you can say evil, you know, Satan. Satan in control when it's come to war. And I'm not saying, by the way, that the American... Actually, I believe strongly that the American is the one who made Putin attack Ukraine. They are the one who keeps saying to him, we will not attack you if you attack them. We will not involve. We will not do anything. The stupid, he took the, the bait. He jumped there. Stupid. So we are not defending the government of America. We are not saying that the CIA is coming from God. That this war is evil, pure evil. For both sides are Christian countries. Rape and killing and using Islamic army to attack a Christian army? And you are telling me that he's protecting himself by sending a bunch of thieves? They are even stealing underwear. Have you ever heard of an army soldier? He taken underwear from a drawer, used underwear, so he can give it to his wife? Garbage. There's no Christian will be happy to see those people losing their houses, old people losing their houses. I mean, imagine you spend your life building a house, overnight you lose it. If you did not lose your family too, how that can please you to say, I'm protecting my country. You go protect your country by invading a country. And you are the one who's taking their land. Isn't it obvious? People, they have no dignity, you know. People, they take a side without even being truthful. <clears throat> uh, if you want to attack America, here we go. America in front of you. You do not need to protect yourself from the NATO by attacking Ukraine. Attack the NATO. Very simple. Imagine, I want to fight the wolf by attacking the cat. This is what he did. This is the logic is. You're just fooling yourself. Uh, and you know, how come Putin, he don't find a threat? He opened his border to the Turkish. All his... All his citizens, they go to Turkey for tourism, supporting Erdogan, the criminal, who is killing Christians, killing Armenian. Who is the one who opened, who is the one who signed all this agreement to make the Turkish regime flourish? Erdogan is bankrupt. I mean, the guy, he just stopped the case against Saudi Arabia, the embassy who killed Khashoggi. They made him shish kebab, literally. The guy, Erdogan, we will take you to court. This is a crime. We will not. And now, because he is bankrupt, he need their money. He dropped the case. Not only he dropped the case, they made a new decision now that this case belonged to Saudi Arabia. Imagine the one who killed the guy. I mean, the guy he killed in your country. <laughs> and Putin is the same guy who knows that Erdogan is the one who took our holy church. And he claimed to be Christian. And do you know how many churches are burned now in Ukraine? I mean, this is disgusting, man. Anyone who defend Putin, I say to you, shame on you. If Ukraine attacking Russia, I will be against Ukraine. If USA attacking Russia, I will be against USA. Tell me who is your friends, I will tell you who you are. The friends of the American and the friends of the Russian, both are garbage. Who is the friend of USA? The king of Saudi Arabia, where no church is allowed to be built. 
evil government. Who is the friend of USA, Erdogan? This is the truth. Who is the friend of USA? Prince of Qatar, the biggest terrorist in the world, the one who fund all ISIS and Al Qaeda. It's not a secret. Even Trump, he went out of the White House. He said Qatar funding. They need to stop funding terrorists. So we are not saying that USA is a good government. You know, evil. They are evil government. There's no ethic, ethnic. Sorry, eth ethic, ethic. Tell me your friends. Who's your friends? Who is the friends of Putin? Iran. I mean, those people they scream every day. Death to the Christian, death to the Jews, death to America, death to Israel. Those are your friends. Hezbollah, Erdogan, Kadarov. How you can defend those people? Uh, Is somebody saying with the file are uh, you a Catholic priest? Hey, my friend, uh, you are just a stupid idiot. I'm not a Catholic. But in case you do not know, the Catholic Church, the number of priests they have is bigger than a country. So if there is a country have, let us say, 50 million, and there's 500 criminals, that means the country has zero criminals. That is a very clean country. So the stupid you, you say the Catholic priests are pedophile when they are those are a small number compared to a huge millions of priests. Shame on you, coward son of Muta. However, your prophet Muhammad is the biggest pedophile legally, and he make it official. <laughs> Stick to Islam. Well, I know what I'm talking about, and you don't like it, you leave. Get out of here. Any Christian who support killing a Christian, he is no Christian. It doesn't matter who is the one doing the killing. Coward, be, shame on you. How in the world anyone claim to be a Christian? He take a side with somebody killing Christians. You have no dignity. And you know what? I pray to God that the houses of those people who support killing Christians, they've been taken from them. I pray to God that the same you wish to them will happen to you. For this is justice. There's no Christian will be happy to see. A house in Russia is burned or a house in Ukraine is burned. That is not a Christian. That is evil. And evil those who support the one who is doing the attack. It's not the Ukrainian going to Moscow. It's not the Ukrainian they are burning the houses of the Russian. It is you coming to their country. And let me tell you why you are coming to their country. Because they are weak. Because they are poor. If Putin is a man, come to America. We took all of Alaska from him. Alaska is four times bigger than Ukraine. Oh, everybody knows Alaska belongs to Russia. Do the coward Putin get close to Alaska? It is less than 50 meters away from the border. They, those monsters, they go after the weak. It's like the hyena. It's like the wolf. He watch the cattle. He look for the weak one, the one who cannot run, the young one. This is why they attack Ukraine. Why you don't attack England? Here we go. The biggest supporter now to Ukraine is England. Go attack England directly. But they don't dare. He's a coward. And you know what? The proof that he is doing an action against God, look how his army is being defeated by a bunch of farmers. Anyway. Me as a person, I take no side except the side of the right and the against the wrong. <clears throat> I met the Ukrainian. They are poor people. They are farmers. They don't even many of them. They don't even have fan in their house. Their houses. I mean, the houses are collapsing. 
The friend I went to their house, the one who invited me, when I was entering the entrance, I look at the ceiling. I mean, the ceiling is coming down. They don't even have a space to sleep. Small, tiny apartment. Why you want to go there to war with them? When Trump was in the office, do you know what Trump he did? He killed more than 270 Russian in less than 30 minutes. In less than 30 minutes in the north of Syria. Do you know what Putin he did? He said, those are from Wagner. They don't belong to Russia. Isn't it? Are they, aren't they Russian citizen? And Wagner are not Russian now? And they are not under the command of the Russian government? He go blind. As if nothing happened. More than 270. He killed them in less than 30 seconds or 30 minutes. They were hunting them like rats. The American. And Putin went so quiet. Was he not there? But he is a hero in front of the poor Ukrainian. <laughs> that is the truth. And you know, I went there. They speak about them. They are fascists. You will find uh, people from around the world coming to Ukraine. I mean, it's the most welcoming country. You will find Arab, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, uh, Indian. Everybody is welcome. How they can be fascist? What a big fat lie. And you know, uh, in, in, in Russia right now, if you say the word war, you get arrested. They made even a law against it. I mean, what is he, this guy, he claimed that he is elected, Putin. Well, if you're a citizen, you cannot talk. How you can be elected? Here we go. I make fun of Biden. I make joke about him every day. I am not even born in USA. I am an immigrant. Did the CIA kill me? Did they arrest me? This is a country. You want to know how good your country is? See how much, how much freedom you have. If you don't have a freedom to speak against your own president, it means you are not living in a country. You are living in a farm. This is the truth. If the Russian, they cannot speak, every person who speaks against Putin is e either in dead, they shoot him in the head, and they claim a guy from Chechnya killed him, but we know who is controlling Chechnya. I mean, notice all the ones opposing Putin, they be killed by somebody from Chechnya. All of them. And if they could not kill him by that way, they will try to put a poison for him. This is the truth. Anyone who opposed the guy, either he kill him by assassinating him by a bullet or by poison. If he could not do any of them, then he accused you of any lie and he put you in jail for the coming 20 years. This is not a country, my friend. A country have a political prisoners is not a country. In this country, I am a foreign man came to this country, I became a citizen. I have rights, are heirs of everybody, and I laugh at Biden every day. I'm not being questioned. I wasn't arrested for what I say. Or this is a free country. Uh, Lulu. The Nazi Ukraine, why they are Nazi? Because you took their cities from them, they become Nazi for you. So you take their cities, you take a Crimea from them, and now you claim that this is your country, and they are Nazi. And the funny is that the president of this country is a Jew, and he's a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> is 
It's like it's like saying Christian Prince he hate the Arab and he is an Arab. I mean, you are a stupid donkey. I mean, the guy is a Jew and he is a Nazi. Couldn't you find something better to accuse him with? The guy literally is a Jew. He's a Nazi, brother. Uh huh. True. True story. I want to know what the, what what the Russian they will do if somebody take a city in the border of Russia. What 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 Putin would do? He will give you a hug. I mean, you took already. You took more than thirty five percent of their country. Anyway, don't waste my time. Anyone who support Putin, I spit at you. I spit literally. And I will take my spit and I will wash it after I spit at you. Because you are not worth it. You are no Christian. You are Antichrist. Ask yourself what Christ would do, what he would say to Putin in the day of judgment about all those children being killed, all those houses are burned, all those churches are destroyed. Mass grave, shooting people walking on a bicycle. How dare you? I pray only to the Lord that the one who wished the death of others, his death will be horrible. No matter who. I pray to the Lord that everyone he make an evil wish his evil wish will come back to him. I cannot say more. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Well, I'm not waiting for the world to make this person pay for his crimes, but I know that the Lord is exist and he will make a criminals pay for their crimes. Do we believe in that? It doesn't matter who they are. American president, Russian president, Chinese president, whoever president. The one who commit a crime, he will pay in the front of the Lord and he will, be, he will pay horribly. Do we have any Muhammadan here? And yeah, don't forget that Al Arabiya TV, Sky News Arabic, Emirat TV station, the Prince of Emirat, the Prince of Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Syria, uh, Yemen, all of them they agree that Putin is our hero. It is the truth. Tell me who supports you, I will tell you who you are. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? What happened today? Why, why, Muhammad? So guys, did you guys open like a falafel store before my, in front of my broadcast? Muslims are going there. Uh, a big man, you are saying that Jesus is not God because he do not know the judgment day. Okay, well, according to the Bible, Jesus, he knew the judgment day. And not only that, according to the Quran too. Do you want to call me to show you? Is that fair, guys? In front of everybody. You Muslims, you quote verses from the Bible but you don't understand them. The Quran says about those who carry the Torah without able to read in it, the same as donkeys. So what about you call me right now and everybody will see who is the one who knows what he's talking about. As I know, even your sheikhs agree that the Quran say that Jesus, he knew the hour. Do you want me to play the video for you? Let us do that. Look like you are not updating your knowledge about what your friends, the Muhammad, and they say. I hear the cow now. 
Let us see. This is your shake. Do you know this shake? Speaking about Sheikh Uthman, so, sorry, Sheikh uh, uh, Imran, very, very big Sheikh. Who he say that Sheikh Imran said that the Quran obviously says that Jesus have the knowledge of the hour. And imagine this coward, he delete, he make his video private after we found it. He make a video for Muslims. He want to tell the Muslims what Sheikh Amran is saying that Jesus, he knew the hour. The second they told him that, oh, Christian Prince, he is speaking about your video. He made it private. Cowards. They are cowards. Watch with me and laugh. This is your Sheikh, not me. To come and speak about for a long time. Where it says clearly that Jesus, he knew the day of judgment. If you see this uh, person here in the screen, this is a this is the same sheikh who speak about farting. You know, remember the video, the funny one, when you go in the bathroom, shaitan he go and play with your anus if you didn't enter with certain foot and say certain prayer, you think you will stay there for five minutes, you stay there for two hours because shaitan go inside your anus. This is the same guy. Now, this guy, he's from Pakistan, I think, too. And he did not like at all what Sheikh uh, uh, Imran, he said. But what Sheikh Imran, he said exactly. What he said is transparently false. So this one is transparently, transparently false. That every single copy of the Quran you pick up today, they have put in. So we are. So the Sheikh he said that Jesus he knew the hour, and the Muslim they fabricate the valves of the world to change the meaning. Like if we go a little bit back, you will hear this person saying that Jesus, he knew the hour. And the claim is that by changing the Tashkil, Tashkil is like valves. Actually, it's not Tashkil, it is the letter. They, they change the letter Aleph to make it different. The top of the letters or underneath of letters in Arabic. And those are added after the Quran was made later by someone he himself is not even an Arab. Uh, by adding those things, they change the pronunciation of the word and that it changed the mean of the word. On YouTube, you will find this lecture by Sheikh Imran Hussein, Major Signs of the Last Days, Dabat uh, al 40 to 50 minutes. And you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, According to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa salam, has the knowledge of the hour. It means if you recite it Did like you hear that. It? And look what big man is saying. I don't care what the sheikh they say. Well, we don't care what you say too. Secondly, you stupid. We Christians, we believe in the Trinity. And what Jesus says is my father. So the son, he have a job to do. The father have a job to do. But when you're God, Allah, he don't have a father, yet he do not know the judgment day. Call me and let us see who is the one who do not know the judgment day. Are you there? Go. Isn't it your God, he says, the judgment day is near because the moon is split? <laughs> Isn't it your prophet, he said, that this boy will not grow old before the hour will come? Call me, let us laugh. When Jesus, he say, my father, the son, he have the judgment over the flesh, but it is for my father to announce the judgment day. We believe in Trinity. If we Christian, we don't believe in the Trinity, then you can say, well, this is the same person. But this is not the same person. So you are a silly, as usual, as all Muhammadan. Trinity mean Trinity. As simple as that.
uh, don't send me links i don't open links in skype don't try that i will block you doesn't matter if it's a good link or a bad link do we have any muhammadan big man is a small man obviously he don't dare to call me It is a problem for the Muhammadan to have a God who do not know anything. Do Allah he knew what the day of judgment is? No. The Quran says, as we heard the Sheikh saying, that Isa is the one who know the hour, not him. And if Allah in different verse he claimed that he have the knowledge, then how Allah he claimed that the moon split and judgment day is extremely near and nothing happened. The splitting of the moon was a sign for what? Any Muslim can tell us? When the moon is split, what exactly, what it was the purpose? It was a sign for the day of judgment. But this has happened 1400 years ago, according to Muslims. So 1400 years ago, the judgment day started by the sign of the judgment day, and there's no judgment day. They don't tell me he wants to debate me. If you want to debate me, he can text me in Skype and I will call him. <clears throat> Do we have any brave? They call themselves big men, small men. They are all of them potatoes. The comment the Muslim they say, showing their ignorance and their stupidity, I, and I'm not surprised, even their God do not know what the Trinity is. The stupid God of Muhammad, he thinks that the Christian believe that Mary is God. She get Mary from the Father. They have a son, his name is Jesus. This is how stupid the Quran. So why are you expecting the Muslim to understand what the Bible says? Imagine to be Islamophobic in 2022. Well, my, my friend, the one is Islamophobic is the Muslims. Who is the one who reject the Islamic law in their countries? Muslims. It is you who is Islamophobic. You die to come to the West. Learning from what? From Islam practice. Who is stopping the Muslim to practice Sharia law in Pakistan? In Bangladesh? In Indonesia? In Kuwait, in Bahrain, uh, not to mention ba uh, Emirat, the, the, the country of the bikini and night club. <laughs> Who is the Islamophobic? It's you. We don't have a phobia. We, de we, de we defeat Islam. The, worst, the one who is afraid of Islam is not us. It's you who is afraid of us. It is you who is scared to terrified to have a Bible page in your country. Terrified to have a Christian and preaching about Jesus in your country. You kill him right away. It's you who have a phobia. You are terrified from their own, your own religion. You don't want to practice it. You vote against it. Umran Khan, the prime minister of uh, uh, Pakistan, just two days ago, he made a speech. He mentioned Muhammad's name more than 60 times. The American name more than 70 times. Praise be to Allah, Alhamdulillah, Assalamu wa salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. He is hoping that the more he speak about Muhammad, the more people they will give him to be in the office. They give him a finger. Why? No, I don't hate you. It is you who hate us. The Quran, chapter 5, verse 14, says that clearly. And the Quran says, forbid the Muslim to take Christians and friends, the Christians as a protector as our friends. So it is your religion who hate us. You are a filthy coward, liar. The Quran is the one who forbid the Muslim from taking the Christians and the Jews as a friends. Why? Because he want them to stay as enemies. And yet the Muslim, they come here complaining, saying, oh, you hate us. I don't. Prove it. Show me where I said I hate Muslims. I never said that. Oh, unless you copy my voice now, you cut the sentence as usual. Look what the Quran says. This is your filthy book. Do 
when there is a book says my followers cannot take a Christian or a Jew as a friend he is saying clearly that they are our enemies forever we hate them chapter 3 verse number 28 let not the believers take for friends or helpers and believers and if one of them he do that he is not a Muslim believer no more do you see it? this is the book of hate this is the book of evil. Chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is chapter teaching you to do taqiyah. Unless you feel yourself, you have to do so. Guard yourself from them, speaking to them in a friendly way while you hate them. Do you see it? Taqiyah. If you go in chapter 5, you will see the following. <clears throat> This is your faith book. Oh, who you believe take not Jews and Christians as a friends or protectors. So why you cannot take us as friends? If you are a person who really don't hate the Christians as you claim, why you cannot take them as a friends? The answer is very simple. Or you hate them. Not only that, a Muslim he cannot take even his own families as a friends if they are opposing Islam. Look what the Fatih Quran says. Everything we say here, we give a proof. Muslims, they make statement, lying, or they are following the devil. This is your book says, you will not find a single believer, a single believer, who love those who disobey Allah or oppose Islam even if they are their sons their brothers their own tribe their own family do you see it chapter 58 verse number 22 so the coward you come here to complain about hate when you are the hate monger when you curse the Christian and the Jews five times a day and you follow a prophet he order you to do genocide against the Christian and the Jews so they kill you that's what the Muhammadan they do. They kill you and then they go on your funeral and they cry on you. This is exactly their behavior. They want to make you look bad. But this is your book. You are not allowed to love even your own children, your own brothers, your own sister, your own mothers, your own father, from your blood, if you don't accept Islam. This is a pure hate for religion. Nothing else, Musiba, saying CP does not let the Muslim quote from the Bible. No, you can quote from the Bible. We laugh at you. Who is holding you? Quote. But the question is, if you cannot even answer about your stupid Quran, how suddenly you became expert in my Bible? <laughs> The hypocrisy is that the Muslims who do not know their own religion, they want to teach us our book. Any Muhammadan? Well, nothing else is Musiba. I have a challenge for you. You call me, and you quote something to me from the Bible, in front of everybody. And I will quote for you in return, something from the Quran, or from what your prophet said. And let people judge who is going to laugh at who. Is that fair, people? Here we go. You said I don't let you quote. I don't let Muslim play games with me, because you try to avoid the topic. But I will give you an opportunity to do something different. You call me. You quote a verse from the Bible. You are done. I quote for you. A verse from the Quran supporting it by what your prophet said. Either people will laugh at your religion or they will laugh at mine. What do you think? Right now. Let us see who is the one who is afraid.
It is you Muslims who get upset because I'm quoting your Quran. You don't want me to quote. Actually, when a Muslim occupied Jerusalem, they put the sanctions on the Christians, and one of the condition is don't teach your don't teach your children about anything about Islam. Go read it, the Pact of Amar. You are forbidden to teach your children anything about Islam because if we teach our children about Islam, then our children will know how filthy Islam is. This is your fear. You don't allow us to go and quote the Bible in Saudi Arabia. Who is the one don't allow? As long as you are saying to me, you Muslims, you, I'm afraid of you to quote the Bible for me. What about you? Let me go and quote the Bible for you. Cowards. It is us who is going with the Bible to you, not you. You are ashamed of your book. Do we have Abdul? Any Abdul? Anyone? Any half one? Okay, he quote for me, first Samuel, what if I show you this verse and this chapter from the Quran, son of Muta? In a second, he will say to me, I don't want to talk about it no more. What if I show you what you are a prophet and what the companion they say about the first Samuel? Don't you know, you donkey, that Samuel is a king and he is a prophet of Allah and the Quran? Do you accept the challenge? The story, you donkey, is in your book. You are a certified donkey like the rest of your prophet companions. Why you don't call me and I will make you read 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse number 3 from the Quran. Do you dare? Hey Muhammad, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Why are you are calling me, Muhammad? Uh, because I, I want to expose you. Huh? I want to expose you. Oh, you want to expose me? Okay, expose me. Go ahead. Yes. So, did you find uh, an answer for? Day. Did you did you find the answer for the previous question I gave you? But uh, you haven't answered my question. I said that. What I said Bible to you. What, what, what I said to you when you called me last time. But I first asked you a question. You did not what, answer my what question. What is the question I gave you last time, and you 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 left with your tail behind your bum? Now tell me what. Uh, what, what, was the question what was the question? You? What was the question? You could not answer, and you ran away. Oh, no, I didn't run away. You blah, 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 blah. Okay, you, you see, out. your friend here is speaking about the first Samuel. Are you against the story in first Samuel in the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible, or you support it? First Samuel 50. 15. Hello? Hello? Yes, 15.3. Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Are you against it? Are you against it or you support it? Yes. What yes? Yes, I am against it because it is violence. Because it's violence? Read that for me. Okay, what, 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 what violence about it? Tell me. Read, read that first, then you can tell me. No, tell me what is violence about it. Go ahead. But first you have to read. Without reading, how can you understand it is violence what, or what, not? What? First you have to read this verse. First Samuel 15 3. Okay, read it for us and tell me what is violence about it. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, <coughs> Almighty God, suppose, suppose, suppose it is said that now go and smite Amalekites and utterly destroy all the all that they have, do not spare them, but mm. kill both men and women, infant okay. and children, okay. ox and sheep, camel and ass. What do you think about that? Is this from God? So it's not from God? 
how can it be from God? Okay. God is saying that kills you. Okay. In front of everybody, if I show you the same thing about the same person in the Quran and in the interpretation, do you promise me to spit at yourself at your prophet too? Yes. You promise me? No, I didn't promise you. Why you don't promise me? A second ago, it was shameful, disgusting. What kind of God you do that? So now, why if I show it to you from your own book, it's okay? Yeah, show me from the Quran. No, so no. you are against you promise the me? Airbus, you promise right? me? You promise me? If I show it to you, you promise to keep the same word you so, said. Hold on. Yeah. You promise okay. me that you will keep okay. the same word, that whoever teach this is satanic, is evil, is disgusting. Do you promise me? Yes. Okay. Even no, if, if even if, if it's if, Allah, if, even if, if it's Allah and He's a prophet. Yes. If He uh, uh, commanded to kill children or donkey, okay. then it is I am against it. Yes. All right. Okay. Let us start first before so we, we go to the verse. Let us read this. Okay. Okay. So so you, Shut up. so you are let against me, this verse. Let me show you. Hold right? on. Bible. So, hold, so hold on. you throw Bible hold, under the bus. Hold on. We will throw your prophet now under the bus, and you and you yourself. No, no. So, shut up! So don't, you, don't force me to hang up on you. You do not have the answer, right? I'm going to show you the reference, and now Sipi, you start reading. You do not reading. have the answer. Shut, shut up! Yeah. Just, you're just a kid, stupid kid. This is your prophet ordering to kill the children. And now I will call you back. I will show you reference by reference, and then I will give you the, the chapter from the Quran. About some of it. No, let us call him back. Hello. Do you see your prophet ordering to kill the children or the non Muslims? Show me from the Quran. I'm showing you from the hadith. Are you saying now? You see, I told you, you will spit at your prophet. You will throw your prophet under the bus. No, uh, are you, so are you, are you, you throwing? You do not have answer for are this you Bible, throwing? right? Just shut up, oh, son of mother. I'm just a kid. Let me block you even forever. You are just a kid. They throw me from the Quran. Throw me from the Quran. Hey, I will throw you from the Quran. Let us go to the Quran. It's in the Quran too. It's okay to kill children. You are a stupid son of mother. Here we go. This is the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Quran, brother. This is where the Quran, brother. Now you will tell me I don't agree with the Quran. And you will throw Allah under the bus. Cowards, son of Muta. This is the chapter 18, verse number 77. The Prophet of Allah, Al Khadr, he killed a child. This child, he did not do anything. Nothing. For in the future he will be a kafir, so it's okay to kill children who they are kuffar. This is the Quran. Do we have any Muhammadan? In a second, they throw their God and their prophet under the bus. This is your Quran. Now let us go to the story of Samuel in the stupid Quran. Donkeys do not know that Muhammad was copying the Jews and everything, trying to create a religion. Read this verse with me and laugh at your prophet. <laughs> uh, let us see here. Uh. Chapter 2, verse number 246. Do you know this chapter and this verse is, is about who? It's about Samuel. Allah, he ordered for him to kill everybody. And because his people, they refused to obey, bad things happen. Let us read the Muslim interpretation for the verse it is appointed for us who this king that we may fight in the cause of Allah fight who 
the same people the Bible mentioned their names. What kind of fight? Those people, they killed almost every single Jew. Even they killed the babies inside the womb of their mother. Let us open the stupid Quran interpretation. And see what the Quran says or what the Muslim interpretation says. Potatoes, cowards, no dignity. They don't even know what is written in their books. And here is how we throw your prophet and you throw your prophet under the bus with your cowardness. I'm opening the interpretation. You can open any interpretation you want. Again, this is a chapter 2, verse number 246. Now, this website is not opening, taking forever. I'm not doing, I don't know why. Let us try a different one. You are talking to Christian Prince, you donkey. Anything you say to me will be used against you. And this is how hypocrite you are. Of followers of a criminal who killed everybody in his way. He claims the Arabian Peninsula. There's a single Christian. Where is the kids? Actually, there's a hadith speaking about a Jew. Why did not kill him? He said, Lam Anbut, which means they could not find hair around my private part. So if you have little hair, they kill you. Which means they kill children. Because Middle Eastern, they have here in that area in a very, very young age. Let us see. Here we go. And this is Sahih. And the reason Muhammad, he want to keep only those ones who did not have that, so they can read, the, like, uh, 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 re-brainwash them and make them to be Muslims. If you are already nine years old you are hard to convince if you are six years old it's very easy to make you believe that you are even born one of us but let us go to the quran what is the name of the king who allah he ordered him to kill everybody in his way Shaul. Here it says, Samuel, the prophet Samuel said unto them, Lo, Allah has raised up and defied between two brackets Shaul to be a king for you. They said, how can it be justified that he have a kingdom over us? I mean, you can read the, the, the rest and you have to flip verse after verse and you will see that those people, they killed even their children, killed their women. God, he ordered them. To go to finish this war because you will keep killing them they will keep killing you and they are already killing your children and your women kill them all the same verse says the same stupid verse in the quran says read with me carefully what those people they did muslims they suffer from zero dignity in their blood. Let us go back to the verse. Because the same verse explains what those people did to them. How could we refuse? to fight the cause for the cause of Allah. Seeing that we have, uh, that we we are turned out of our homes and our families, this translation is not even good. They took our homes and they took our families. They killed our families. They enslaved our families. How we could not even go and fight those who did that to us. 
the verse itself witnessing for what happened. And they are saying, well, it's commanded for us to fight, so we will fight. If we go and read the interpretation, you will see all Islamic interpretation agree that this king and his kingdom, they were killing the Jews, killing their children, raping them, enslaving them. Even they killed the babies inside the womb. Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. If we go to Ibn Kathir, which is in English, maybe that will help you more. I want to tell you, are you, you, are, you, are, you know you are afraid to quote for us from the Bible? No, we are not. We have the Bible. We, you know, we believe in what's written in the Bible. It's you who's ashamed of your book. It's you. When we show you something, you say, I don't agree with it. Uh, this is written book written uh, 300 years after Muhammad. It's you who's ashamed of your book, not us. Here you will see more details in Ibn Kathir. And for sure, the, the story in English is not the same as in Arabic. It's very little here. I don't know what happened. They shrink it. Um, I mean, where is the rest of the verse? Let us see Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Give me a second. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir. Or maybe we can go to the master of Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Always Arabic interpretation is different from English interpretation. This is a Tabari. I find it in Arabic, not in English. It will show you that they killed everybody in the nation of Israel. Except only there's a one woman. She was her baby. She was able to, like, uh, let us say the Jews were able to hide it. Let us translate. So here you see the Muslim scholars, they are defending the story of Samuel. And they are complaining about what the pagan they did to the Jews. Only one person, only one woman, she left with a child, she did not give birth yet. And later she gave birth for a person who will be their leader to save them from the enemy. Here you see the hypocrisy of the garbage of those who come in YouTube. In their books, by the way, in the authority of Murra, <laughs> Imam Murra, in the authority of Ibn Mas'ud, in the authority of the campaign of Allah Messenger, in the authority of a stupid boom doom. All of them, they are defending what Samuel, he did. But then you just see a kid from those Muhammadan trying to find you something supposedly, it's a shameful thing for you. 
We don't hide it, and we are not ashamed of it. It is you who is ashamed of your book. Cowards. Let me pause for you at Tobari, and you can use Google Translation. I will post the link in Arabic. I will shorten the link first. Because the title have Arabic text and will not go through YouTube. <clears throat> All right, now this is the link for whoever wanna save the reference. So look what happened now. The Quran teach to kill children. Muhammad, he killed children. Muhammad told them we are killing, they told him we are killing children during the attack. He says, so what, they are from them. Prophet Al-Khadr, he saw a child. He feared that later he will be disbeliever. We kill him. This is Islam. Don't the Muslim believe in the flood of Noah? He killed everybody? Don't the Muslim believe in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? Hypocrite people, they have no dignity. And then we find that the same story of Samuel is exist in their book. And the Muslim sheikhs are supporting it and those are the companion and Muhammad himself. They love to lie. And not only that, by the way, the Quran speak against them because they refuse to kill. Because if you read the chapter, they did not kill them. If you read the verses in the Bible later, you will see that he did not kill anybody. He did not kill the women and the children. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Their book condemned them because they did not kill everybody. And look, I just found Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let me show you the difference between Ibn Kathir in Arabic and Ibn Kathir in English. This is Ibn Kathir in English, it's a few lines. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Look how long it is. It's gone. And here it says it clearly that those people, they killed a lot of the Jews and they stole every holy thing, the holy, the Torah, the coffin, everything they have. And here it says, And because of those attacks, they have nobody left descendant from the Prophet, except the tribe of Lawi, except one woman, just one woman. This is what the, what the, what the enemy did, killed everybody. She was a Bretonette and her husband, he was killed by those people. They took her and they jailed her which means the Jew is not the enemy, which means they took her to save her from losing the baby or the enemy to kill her. And they said, maybe God will send a messenger from her, through her, because she is the only one left. And Allah, according to here the story, Allah, he listened. And she called him Shemuel. How the Muslim, they come with the name, don't ask me. They have their own names. If I search this in private Google, this is Ibn Kathir, which is not in English. Ibn Kathir, variant number one, page number 308. Why all of this is not in English? Look how long the interpretation for one verse in many pages. We cannot find any of those things in the English translation. 
translate. Read it. I'm going to send you the link too. But here you notice how filthy, disgusting, the dignity of those who claim to be translating the book of Ibn Kathir. They delete everything. Let me post the link for you. And you can do the same. You can use Google Translation in case you don't speak Arabic. Here we go. We are the one who make Muhammad and throw Muhammad under the bus. They throw literally Muhammad under the bus. Who want the link of Ibn Kathir in Arabic? Don't ask me later to give it to you. I just posted. So here you notice that the Muhammadan scholars, the, the campaign of Muhammad, they are defending what Samuel did. And not only that, they are saying that Allah, he cursed the Jews for not obeying Samuel and killing everybody. The Muslims in YouTube, they are ashamed. They say this is shame. This is disgusting. Do you see the hypocrisy? And why Ibn Kathir in English is not even 1% of Ibn Kathir in Arabic? What happened? How it becomes so short? Look how long here it is. Interpretation of Ibn Kathir, part number one, page number 308. Look how long it is. And then we have to flip the second page and the third page is we're not done. And Allah supposedly is angry from them because they did not carry out the attack as he ordered them. While they promise we will do it, how we will not do attack those who killed our children who took our women as captive, who took our land, who took our holy Torah, so their scholars and their sheikhs and the companion of Muhammad and Muhammad himself, they like what Samuel did, but Muslims in YouTube, they don't. And I will tell you why, because those idiots do not know that this is in their book. They don't know. They got surprised when you showed them this. They have no idea what the Quran is saying. Did Shia believe in Ibn Kathir? No. Shia, this is Shia library. It does not make it Shia book. This is a library, my friend. There is a lot of books. There is books of the Shia, books of the Sunni, books, everything. I mean, it says Shia online library. Does it have to be only Shia books? No. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> I hope people are taking reference. If somebody mentioned to you first, some of which chapter you mentioned to him and get him busted. Do you remember now which chapter we are talking about? What chapter? Hmm? Let's see how many of you remember. <laughs> yeah, we played the video already about that. You are too late, Rob Christians. We played that a week ago, two days ago. We have it here on the screen still. This person, he exposed the Muhammadan, he exposed their lies about Jesus have the knowledge and the Muslim, they change the Quran.
But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dhamma, alamun, put ilmun instead of alamun, ein kesra, a page. So then See, they say that the Quran is preserved, but there's a huge difference between between knowing the hour, he know the hour, and knowing the hour. There's a huge difference. So they deleted a letter. This is what the Sheikh is saying. But someone put in the diacritical marks. Instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dhamma, alamun, put ilmun, instead of alamun, ein kesra, a page. So they make it, wa innahu la ilmun lisa'a. So someone did some, you know, dal me kuch kala hai. Someone did that with these diacritical marks. Someone. And this is wrong. I'm saying that human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. Maybe it was done deliberately. Maybe it was done accidentally. But someone put in the diacritical marks Instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dhamma, alamun, put ilmun. Any Muslim have an answer? Again, just to remind you, YouTube sometimes don't send, actually most of the time don't send notification. So don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon if you care to subscribe. And you do not have to donate, but for sure, if you support, that's even better. But most of you don't care, and we understand. But in case you want to have to receive notification when we go live, uh, Patreon is the best way to receive it. Do we have any Mohammedan? Who is the second victim? Who is going to be the second victim? We Christians, we don't, and we are not ashamed of our book. It's you Muslims. Who throw your God, your prophet, under the bus, and specifically under the bus of a Christian prince. Every single one of you, when he called me, the first thing he say, Oh, I don't accept this hadith. You are throwing your prophet under the bus. All of you. You will not find a single Christian saying, I don't accept what Paul said, what Peter said, what John said. What Jesus said, you will not. You are ashamed of your prophet. Ashamed of your religion. And you try to deny it. Hoping by denying it, you can save your ass from being exposed. Any Muhammad and I have any comment? When the last time a Muslim he says to me that Jesus says something and I say to him I don't accept it. Never. And how many million times we say to Muslims Muhammad he said something and they don't accept it. So because they are ashamed of their prophet they try to throw the words of their prophet. What if you are ashamed of him? You better replace him with somebody else. Go to eBay and order a new prophet. Someone who, you know you will not be ashamed by.
Um, I have uploading your videos, okay. Uh, friend, I don't, uh, don't don't send me those text messages in Skype because they, they are meaningless. I, I, I do not need to support channels. Uh, Christians who upload my videos, you know, you do not need my support, my friend. People will come and subscribe to your channel, what I will do. Uh, give me something serious. Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, let us see. Okay, how to share somebody? Uh, share contact. Any Mohammedan? Any brave Mohammedan? Okay, any coward Mohammedan? No coward Mohammedan, no brave Mohammedan. The only one who called us today is just a bunch of kids. Anyone? Why you don't talk about mass murder? God was in the Old Testament. You donkey, Dr. Hamza. Okay, Dr. Hamza, why you don't call me so we can talk about this topic? Especially you are a doctor. That would be a pleasure to speak to someone is educated. People, do you think that this person who called himself Dr. Hamza, do you think really he is a doctor or he is a donkey? He don't mean to say doctor. He want to say donkey running. Prove me wrong. Call me and let us talk about the God, the mass murderer. Do you dare? Let's talk about it. You're saying to me, why you don't talk about it? Let's talk about it. Do you dare? Coward. You are not Dr. Hamza. You are Sister Hamza. Prove me wrong. Are you there? So, should we call you Dr. Hamza or Sister Hamza? If you are a man, call me. If you are a female, don't call me. I don't want to talk to you. Are you there? Anna, you are a doctor. I feel sorry for you. Because all doctors in the world, they learn their medication from Prophet Muhammad. Anna, if you are a doctor, let me teach you something. Anyone, he come to you, he have any disease, tell him to drink honey, even if he have diabetes. I mean, look, we have a genius prophet. Anyone come to him, it doesn't matter what the disease, either he give him camel urine or honey. And when there's a guy, he gave him, he told his brother to give him honey. The guy was dying from drinking honey, obviously. And Muhammad, he accused him that his, bro his brother Billy is lying. You can do that too. If you give a medicine to somebody and it doesn't work, accuse him that his Billy is lying. 
let me find the hadith. And the Muslim, they claim that after that, this guy, uh, he was recovered because he never came back. Obviously, he died. He said to him, Allah, he said the truth, and your brother Billy is lying. Can you believe it? Dr. Muhammad. If we show them this hadith, the Muslim, they will throw Muhammad under the bus. Your brother Billy did told a lie. And the Muslim, they add later that he was cured. Take a note. Your brother Billy is telling a lie. Are you there, Dr. Hamza? Can you call me and let us see if your Billy will tell me a lie? Why you don't want to come up to me? Okay, just look, look what you just said, Hamza. You just said, I don't want to come up to you. You just admitted that I am up and you are below. That is your words. And the one who is a hypocrite is the one who follow a book and says, speak to them in a friendly way while you don't believe in that. It's you. That is you. And you are right. I don't want to come up to you. You cannot even come up to me. And you are very down. You are in the world where you believe that there's a God. You go to sleep. You pray to Allah, dreaming about how your penis will become so big and the vagina, how big they are, waiting for you. You are down, my friend. You are down in hell. You are following the Satan and the ground paradise. That's why Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. You are speaking to people like you. You are from below, you stop below. And your religion is below the West. All of Islam is from the waist and down. From the waist and down, like the belly, the stomach, the testicles. Do we have any Abdul besides Sister Hamza? May Allah bless her boobs. I mean, let us talk about the mass murder in the Old Testament. Well, isn't it you Muslims accept every story in the Old Testament you covered? Isn't it you Muslims you teach the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, mass murderer? Isn't it you Muslim who believe in the story of Noah, mass murderer? Isn't it you who believe in the story of Muhammad Cain, all his enemies? Do any cleansing for the Jews and the Christian from the Arabian Peninsula? Coward, hypocrite. I bet you this is the same guy, you know, he changed his name. Anyway, leave Sister Hamza alone. Yeah, well, don't talk about uh, mothers. You know, don't go there because I can mention that your mother, she made a sex contract in order to have you. She never get married. Now we can show that from the Quran. This is why Muslim women, her contract end by when the employer fire her. It's a contract of sex. There's no marriage. Even the word for marriage, the one the Muslim they use is to if not to marry. Nikah. The Muslim they say, Christian prince he lie when he said, Nikah mean to if a woman. Look what Muhammad said. He said, do everything when your wife, she have her menstruation, except nikah. So if nikah mean marriage, why Muhammad saying to his wife, to his men, do everything to your wife except nikah. Let us show you the hadith.
See how easy to, to, to get you busted? Your religion is the religion of the Ethin. What kind of religion make marriage as a nikah? Which mean the F word. Christian Prince is lying. The word nikah mean marriage. This is absolutely a lie. Okay, read it. The prophet, he said, he don't like what the Jews say. The Jews, they say, if a woman, she have her menstruation, she stay in her room, according to the story here. They don't associate with her until she have her period is done. Muhammad, he said, do everything else apart of Ephim. What is the sexual intercourse? Nika, read it. Cowards, liars, no dignity. Sexual intercourse translated for what? For nikah. You don't have marriage. You do nikah. Your father, he did F your mother. Literally. And your prophet saying to your father, don't F her when she have her menstruation. And by the way, Muhammad was F in his wives when they have their menstruation. And there's a hadith, one of you posting it in Arabic. There's a hadith says, Cursed is the one who do nikah to his hand. Have you ever somebody marry in his hand? If the word nikah means marriage? Eh? <clears throat> anyway, I think we have enough for today. And look like today we are not lucky. Not too many customers for some reason. It's slow, but we have a good time. Don't forget to download my video, share them, and uh, you know, uh, uh, only when admin is posting Patreon, thank you. Uh, you can click at the link of Patreon, and you can join us there. You can subscribe, uh, so you will be notified when we go live on air. All right, and please invite Muslims. Any Muslim who says to you, "Islam is a good religion. Islam is from God," etc., tell him, "Okay, you know what?" I want to, I want you to call, call this guy. I want to just listen, see. Maybe you can convince me if you can really prove this person wrong, you know, and you, you were convincing, you know, we will see. Just call him. So I encourage Muslim to come and call us. And this way, Christian learn how to refute the garbage of the Mohammedan. And we save the Mohammedan from the stupid garbage of Muhammad. We don't hate the Muslims. We don't want you to hate them too. We are here to save everybody. Christians, non-Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhas, because Muslims, they have, they spend a huge budget, billions of dollars every year. You see, what we do here is very small, very tiny. Look, I have 1,500 people. This is very tiny. We are not getting millions to watch when we speak. And the reason is very simple. Our budget is so tiny and we are just in YouTube and Christian Saudi didn't support us. Actually, Muslim, they share their Muslim links everywhere. Christian, they don't. They do the opposite. You will see Christian sharing Muslim links in my page, but they don't share my links to the Muslims. Because many of the Christians are very naive. They have a, you know, they have a good heart, but they don't think. Hey, Christian Prince, can you refute this guy? And by doing that, they are posting a link to promote him. Very naive. Uh, but all the budget they are spending is useless. We are giving our books for free, our videos for free, translated to many, many languages. Maybe here we have only like 1,500 people watching here, but as you know, my videos will go and be translated to many languages and hundreds of thousands will see it. If you go right now and check in Indonesia, you will see how huge the number of those who watch my videos. We made a huge impact in Islamic countries. Christians now are not left alone in those countries. They can refute the cowardness of Muhammad and the, fa the fabrication of Muhammad so easy. And this is what we are doing exactly. 
We want your son, your daughter, you, your husband, your wife. When they meet a Muslim, try to fool them. And instead of fooling you, you save them. And you get them busted with their lies. So learn, take notes, and knowledge is power. You see, when you have knowledge, wherever you go, you are welcome. You go sit with your friends, drinking coffee with them. When you speak foolishness, you are just a fool. But a person of knowledge, his place is always reserved. The more knowledge you have, the more you are heavy duty. Community receive you. Your children respect you. A person whose mouth is filthy, he keeps saying the F word about everything he say. His children, sooner or later, they will say the F word to him too, because that's what they learn from you. A person who speak wisdom, teach wisdom, act in wisdom, his children will follow his steps. If you want your daughter to grow up as a whore, will treat her like one, and treat your wife like one, and then she will treat you the same way. If you want your daughter to grow up, as a decent woman, good woman to you, to your wife. Treat your wife in a decent way, or you are the best example of everything, or the worst example. If you want your children not to speak loud, filthy, bad language to you, well, don't say those words in front of them. And respect their mother, and the mother respect her husband. If you want to be something, not an insect, because many, sadly, they are human, but they live like insect. They spend their life doing what insects do. They jump over trees, they eat the leaves, they damage the tree. Don't be that one. For this is your tree, and you are damaging your own. I advise you all to read at least, at least once a week, the Holy Bible. Read and see and learn and try to live and try to find rest and peace and wisdom you are looking for. The problem that we are disconnected with our Lord, our Savior, people that became Christians by name, the same as the Mohammedan, they are Mohammedan by name anyway. Even their prophet was a false Mohammedan, and he was a Mohammedan by name. He never even followed the rules he made. The problem we are, people of TV stations, movies, we are learning from them how to be criminals. We are learning that the good guys, they go to a casino, they rap everybody, and they go out, and they have a bunch of blonde girls with them in the car, and this is the ethic we give to our children, that a thief is the happy. The decent man, he works in a gas station. A thief is the one who drives nice car. A decent man, he stay poor, he die poor. This is what we are teaching our kids. If you have games, and your kids are playing them in your house, don't give them games about shooting. For later, shooting will become a game for them. They will lose their humanity. Give them something can increase their intelligence. Their thinking. Not how fast we can shoot in a game. A game full of blood. What do you expect from your son to be? What do you want him to be? If you want to be something, Ask yourself first, what is that thing you want to be? You want to be a turtle? Inside the box? You move your box because you're afraid of everything? Or you are a person who fear nothing, including death? And you say the truth, and the truth will set you free. A person who fear death? 
he have no life. He's not even alive because he's always worried. He's worried about germs. He's worried about bacteria. He's worried about disease. He's worried about somebody shaking hand with him. He is worried. A believer, he live his life in full. You live your life in full, not by going to party and casinos and nightclub. Actually, this is here where you, where you die in full, not live in full. Because there is the disease, the drugs, the drug dealers, the gang, the shooters. You are going to death. You are in the wrong place with the wrong people in the wrong time. With your Christ, always you have the insurance. You are in the right place, in the right time, in the right mission, in the right direction. So I encourage you all, today is Sunday, to pray, take your time, open a chapter, read something in the Bible, and see where the Lord will take you. Say what the Lord will tell you today. For every day, the Lord, he says something to us. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope today we were able to do something good and to share some knowledge with those who seek knowledge. The Bible says, my people being destroyed because of their ignorance. And it's true. Disease kill us because of our ignorance. If we know how to fix it, how to fight it, we don't die. Our ignorance make us lose our money, make us lose our life, make us lose even our children. Ignorance is the enemy. And Islam is nothing but ignorance made by the devil. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you for today humbly. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.